Welcome back to Talking Dragon Age, the show where I talk about Dragon Age. I'm sorry I haven't been as active recently, I've been going through some personal stuff, but I'm not here to bitch about my problems, I'm here to bitch about Dragon Age. So today, we'll be talking about the Mirror of Transformation. I intentionally skipped over it in the last video, so I'm going to jump right in for this one. From a practical standpoint, I really appreciate the Mirror. From an immersion standpoint, I strongly dislike it. And from a fan standpoint, it kind of annoys me. A couple of reasons why. First, I want to thank Bioware for creating a way to alter a character's appearance without restarting the whole game. It is a welcome addition. It's definitely something that should have been in the game at the initial launch, but since it was free, I can't really complain too much. Although, I feel as though a lot of people wanted the Black Emporium just because of the mirror, while Xenon and the stores were just a bonus. This bothers me because Xenon and the stores are awesome. I just wish there was more to it. More stores, more unique items, more dialogue, more interaction, and so on. I feel as though the mirror overshadows everything else, and I don't think it should. But the thing that really gets to me is this word. Transformation. No. Look at this sentence in the war table operation. A mirror that can bend bone and muscle. I detest this. Allow me to explain why. Saying this basically says someone can go into the Emporium looking like this, and come out looking like this, and nobody cares. I remember a long time ago, I read something online that has stuck with me. A Dragon Age 2 player said he used the mirror to change the hairstyle between years, or maybe even give Hawk a tattoo. Little things that reflect time passing and the development of Hawk. I liked this so much that in a later playthrough I tried it myself. But because it's the mirror of transformation, it implies Hawk didn't do this on his or her own time. They went down to the Emporium and let the mirror do it. You could just pretend that's not what really happened, which is what I did, but it still kind of annoys me for destroying the immersion of it all. Here is a more immersive and equally practical solution for this. This is a mirror. Not a magic mirror. Just a mirror. What if I say I want to try a new hairstyle? I just go up to the regular mirror, enter the creator, change my hairstyle, and done. Then I can imagine I just styled it a bit. Now, you can say that isn't much different than the Mirror of Transformation, but it is different because it isn't telling me that the mirror is doing the work. Or how about this? I make a mistake in the initial creator and my nose is too pointy. No problem. Just go to the mirror, fix it, and done. Now I can imagine this is what my character always looked like, as opposed to being told my character had a pointy nose his whole life until a magic mirror fixed that for him, and nobody but Xenon notices the difference. I liked your old nose better. Or maybe you just don't like your character and want to start from scratch. Instead of a blue-eyed blonde, you can have a bald black guy with a red tattoo, and nobody comments about it because as far as you or they are concerned, you always looked like that. Maybe this hits me harder than most, though. Am I the crazy one here? You can tell me. I, I don't mind. I just had to rant about this because it bothers me. But that's enough. I'm done now. That's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, Tala Nadas.